Radio Rahim here with Freddie Roach. Found you down at Gleason's Boxing Gym, man. Uh, another hallowed ground. You've got your own gym and wild card, but today you brought out a heavyweight. And we know that there's money to be made in the heavyweight division. Uh, where's your fighter at right now in climbing into that big money rank? Well, he's 27 and 1. We tried to get in that tournament, but for some reason we weren't allowed. But uh, th that's the way politics goes right now. But we have been sparring with the guys in that tournament. We Abel's been bringing his guys down, and Dennis Lebedev has been coming in the gym a couple times. But Dennis is a little bit out of shape right now. But he's still great. He's still great work. But um, you know, he's he's been boxing with really, really high class uh, professionals, and um, uh, actually the, the boy from Germany. Um, Who's the alternate on that also in the power yeah. power power of my fighter? Who's also another alternate on that show? And uh, he's beating those guys up every day. I see you in there taking, still taking shots from these huge guys. Like uh, you're doing mitt work with them. Like like you're like you got lightweights in there. <laughs> How are you able to continue to train guys that this that that are this big, throwing shots that heavy, and continue to absorb that power and teach these guys really how to hit? Well, you know, the thing is, it's my job, and, you know, ever since I started working with, like, Mike Tyson and the clinch goes, I get used to, I get used to be catching big guys. I know they can punch you, I gotta be a little bit careful, and just make sure they don't hit me that clean, clean shot on the chin. Yeah, I see you letting guys hit you on the chin. I was hoping this wasn't going to happen today. No, 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 no. <laughs> I feel good today. Good strong legs. <laughs> I know your guy wants to climb in there with the likes of Joshua and Wilder. Everybody wants yeah, that, those course. paydays. Those guys seem to be uh, on a collision course towards each other. What do you think shakes out if they actually step in the ring together? Um, it's a great fight. Uh, Joshua is a really good fighter. Uh, he asked me if I could train him one time, and I, I, uh, I hope that comes true someday. I think he's a great fighter. But... He's in good hands. The thing about uh, him right now is I think that he's really working too much on the weightlifting and he's got a lot of muscle room around and he's, he's a little bit sluggish. He looked great with Klitschko, but this next fight, he didn't look that, good, that great. He's got to loosen up a little bit and get rid of that weight system, I think, and to, to beat a guy like uh, Joshua. Because yeah, Joshua can punch and he's, he's there for 12 rounds. You know, uh, he's maybe the biggest like global boxing star right now, but uh, a guy that's right on his heels as far as popularity is Lomachenko. And uh, I was just reading that Manny Pacquiao was talking, has got Lomachenko on his mind and his mouth, like maybe he wants to fight him in April. Uh, how true is that? Is that a fight you guys can win? I love the Lomachenko fight. I, li I like that better, you know, because I've been hearing so much about Terrence Crawford lately, and Terrence might be a little bit too young and a little bit too big right at this point. But the uh, the other way, I, I I like that fight for Manny. All we need is one tune-up fight, and we'll go into that fight for no problem. What what weight would you fight at? Uh, at that weight, I'm sure we're gonna have to fight at 40. 40. And uh, lastly, and I'm Manny walks around at 38, so that's not a problem. And lastly, obviously, we're on the Spence card uh, on Saturday night. You talked about Crawford. Those guys are on a collision course, too. What, what would happen with them two in the ring? I would love to see them two in the ring because I'm, I'm debating who's the best pound for pound fighter in the world right now. And I think it's one of those two. And I, w I would love to see that. I mean, it's really, really a good fight. Um, you know, Spence isn't as popular yet because they haven't marketed him quite as well as they did. Uh, they, 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 the boy from Nebraska, um, <laughs> uh, Crawford. <laughs> Crawford's a little more popular, and uh, you know. So, and they, you know, one thing about Aaron, he wants Manny to fight Crawford at the end, and uh, in that, trying to make him a big superstar, of course. But the Errol Spence fight is one he really should be after because that's the biggest fight out there right now. You had two really good amateurs. They had great careers as amateurs, and they're both killing all the pros out there and doing really, really well. And um, I. I, I expect Spence to become a star on Saturday. It's good to see you with strong legs, Freddie, out here in New York in your element. I hope we do get to see you in the corner of Joshua. That'd be awfully interesting. Radio Rahim with Freddie Roach here at Gleason's Gym in New York. I'll see you on the ring on Saturday and back home the week after. <laughs>